Hello and thanks for watching this Cloud9 ERP Solutions video and subscribing to our YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to talk about Microsoft Teams integration. So Acumatica integrates with Microsoft Teams. We're in the midst of running a closed beta of this Teams integration and we wanted to show it to you. So what you see here in Acumatica is a support ticket. This is a case. And notice that next to the owner, there's an icon and the icon for Teams shows the status of that particular employee within Microsoft Teams. Currently, while Bonnie is out of the office, we still get the ability to see that presence. And if we click on it, you can see there are a couple of options here. If I click here, this will allow me to chat. If I click here, I can make a phone call through Teams. If I click here, Teams will open up and you have the ability to type, type your message. And again, if I hit the call button, Microsoft Teams will initiate a phone call. But additionally, what this Teams integration has done is if you look under activities and you click on create activity, this is that drop down right here. Acumatica has added create Teams message. And if we click on it, a brand new window comes up, which allows you to address a message to either a Teams channel or a member. So let's say, for example, I want to send this to Bonnie. What I can do here is include some information. This is the case. I was referring to. And when I hit send, you get an activity that's created within the case. And if I open up Teams, and we'll make this a little bit bigger, you'll notice there's now a hyperlink and I can click on it and it'll open up the case. So the recipient gets a link to the case and that'll open it right up. So that's really nice. So the ability to communicate with teams and create an activity at the same time is excellent and provide a link to your recipient so that they can get into the entity that you're looking at. This also holds true with any relative entity in Acumatica, anywhere there are activities where you can create a Teams message, which is uh, all over the place. Now, Acumatica also added under every user's profile, a Teams setting tab. The Teams setting tab allows you to log in. So that's how it knows who's communicating with Teams and who's actually sending the message out. So over here, you have the ability to, you'd select member. There's an administrator option for getting things set up. But you select the member and sign in. And then you can see that we're actually logged in here uh, based on these fields here. At the bottom, you know, we talked about how you have the ability to send a message or make a phone call. Well, there's a global preference for this, but this allows you to communicate with either the desktop application of Teams or the web. This would allow me to override the global settings. Currently, we're set up for desktop. Additionally, this integration also knows what Teams channels are out there. So if we go over to this tab here for Teams channels, you can see all of the teams here on the left-hand side and all of the channels within those teams over here on the right. And then additionally, Acumatica has added the ability to add a incoming webhook URL. And what that's for is for business events. And that's what we're going to show right now. So if we go over to business events and we take a look, I have a business event in here for a bill is due. So if you haven't seen some of our business event videos, please search for those and take a look. We've done a, quite a few examples of how business events work and how powerful they can be. But this is a bill that's due. It's pulling off the bills and adjustments generic inquiry. 
And every time a new record's inserted with a due date that equals... Well, it looks like we don't have a value here. But if I click here, obviously I could pick a specific date, but that's not practical. But if I click here, you notice there's some dynamic values here. So we'll pick today. And that's the basis of the business event. That's the trigger. But if we go to subscribers, you can see I have an event here, an email event. But Acumatica has added now Teams notification. When we take a look at it, you have an entire notification template that you can create. So just like the other notification templates, you can give it a description. So this is AP bill is due today. And you can give it a subject heading. So what you can do here is you can click on this magnifying glass and select fields from the actual generic inquiry. So all the different tables that are part of the generic inquiry, the bills and adjustments, will show up here. So what we can do here is we can say, for example, vendor account name, bill number, and we'll select our reference number here. And then we could select our Teams channel. Now, before you can select a Teams channel that'll actually work here, you need to create a web hook. So if we go to Microsoft Teams and we go over to the Teams channel, under the ellipse here, we have the ability to select connectors. And what we can do here is we can configure a web hook. So if we scroll down a little bit, make this a little bit bigger. You can give it a name and you could say, for example, finance, we'll call it Acumatica Finance. You can upload an image specifically for the cause. And then down here, you can click create. And Microsoft Teams will give you a URL, a webhook URL. That's a URL that you can communicate with. That's a URL that Acumatica will communicate with to send out messages. So if we put that in the clipboard, and then we go back to our Teams channels, and if we go to Finance, right over here under General, we can paste the URL here, and save it. And now if we go back to our business event or moreover to the notification that we're working on and we do a lookup of our channels, you can now see the finance team is here because we added a webhook URL. And then just like always, what we can do here is we can populate the body of the message so that something nice comes out in the team's channel relative to this business event. So the way the message works is you have the ability to format it any way you want. You have some formatting tools here, and then we can put stuff in it, such as vendor. We'll put in a data field, and that will be the vendor's name. But what you can do also is if you use Microsoft Word, for example, you can format it and paste it in as HTML. So for example, if we wanted to open up Word, we can insert the table here, and this table actually has some borders to it, and we can give it some formatting. For example, maybe we want to fill this in with some sort of colors or shading. And then what we could do is we could save this as HTML. And we can give it a web page filtered HTML. That'll cut out some of the extra stuff that Microsoft likes to add to this HTML file. And if we open it up in Notepad, you can see we want where the body starts. So we'll take that. and stop where the body ends. And now if we go back to Acumatica, 
and we switch to HTML, we can paste this in there. And when we switch back, we now have a nicely formatted table. So now what we could do is we could say vendor, for example, and then insert the value, the data field, for the account name for the vendor. We can add the date, maybe the due date, which we know is today, but maybe we're looking back or maybe that's not our trigger date. And possibly the description. And what we have here is a pretty nicely formatted message that'll go right into the team's channel. Now, if we create a bill and we give it an amount, and we change the due date to today. And we open up Teams. That's what you see here. You see our nicely formatted message. It's got the icon here. That's a default icon. And the fonts we could have done a better job at, but uh, you can see it here. So that's Microsoft Teams integration with business events. The business events make it very powerful for communicating information within your company. In the future, I'd love to see Acumatic expanded so that we can start to send messages outside of the organization now that Microsoft Teams supports that. But this is excellent and it's fully integrated into Acumatica. If it's something you'd like to try out and you need help configuring it, please reach out to us. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much for watching this video and subscribing to our channel and have a great day.